Several hours north of San Francisco, the wild and scenic Eel River winds through redwood forests on its way to the Pacific Ocean. Eel has this really special place in anglers' hearts in Northern California. It's one of the great steelhead rivers of California, and really it's a place where fish runs used to be in the millions, and it puts it on par with some of the great Pacific Northwest rivers. But for decades, the river and these wild native fish have been in decline due to an old and now obsolete hydroelectric project whose dams block fish from its life-giving headwaters. The Potter Valley project as it exists today is no longer economically viable. It no longer provides the reliable water supply that people need, nor does it provide the habitat for salmon or steelhead and future droughts and climate change are only gonna make matters worse. What we're excited about with this project plan is it does two main things. It improves water supply reliability to Russian river interests, and it also opens up hundreds of miles of habitat for steelhead and salmon in the upper eel. That's the two basin solution idea right there. Going down this dam decommissioning path with PG&E provides no guarantees for benefits to the eel side or benefits to the Russian side. The Pacific Gas and Electric Company, or PG&E, currently owns the Potter Valley project. In 2019, the utility indicated it plans to abandon the project. But this decision created an opportunity for a two-basin solution, one that significantly improves conditions for native fish while increasing water supply reliability in the Russian River Basin. Consensus is growing that Scott Dam should be removed and the project's other facilities be updated to better meet current needs. Local stakeholders are taking the reins in developing a collaborative, science-based approach for the Eel River and the Potter Valley Project. And by doing it that way, I think we have a great chance of meeting the needs of both people and the environment. So it's a promising first step, gives me a lot of confidence that we can find a productive way forward. PG&E is obviously a critical part of this two basin solution. And I think they understand that they're gonna to have to be a major contributor, both to meet their needs in getting out of this project and to meet our needs to find the resources uh, for a two basin solution. The habitat above Scott Dam is really important for a couple of reasons. One, it's mostly in Mendocino National Forest, so it's protected land. Second, it's really high elevation habitat. And so because of that, you have cool water somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 miles of, of available habitat above Scott Dam. So it's perfect steelhead habitat. And historically, it was probably really important summer steelhead habitat as well. The Eel River has been the backbone of our community and it supports a, a whole ecosystem of the things that we need to, to be supportive of our families. It's, it's a great part of each one of us. The times are changing. Why can't we make this more efficient? Why can't we all win on this, both basins? We can make things happen that would be just life-changing. We have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity now to restore habitat for struggling salmon and steelhead populations by reconnecting the lower river with its headwaters. But we also have an opportunity to work together to modernize this project, to change it into something that's actually beneficial and has a purpose for the future to provide habitat for fish and wildlife and water supply reliability for downstream farms and communities. So water supply, fish passage, dam removal, these are big tricky issues. They require a lot of funding, they require a lot of work. Our coalition looks forward to working with a broad array of stakeholders to really balance the needs of fish and people in both the Eel River and the Russian River.